Hello, this is a collect call from Brendan, an inmate at the Sheboygan County Jail. To accept charges, press zero. To this call is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Evercom. Hello. 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 Did you talk to anybody? No. No. What do you mean, talk to anybody? Because, um, Mark and, uh, Fast and you're going to talk to you. About what? About what? Huh? About the case. When did you talk to him? Today. When are they going to talk to me? I don't know. What do you mean? Well, I guess yesterday my, that uh, Mike guy came up here. He talked to talked to me about my uh, my results. Yeah. 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 What? I haven't talked to nobody. I told you, nobody calls me and lets me know nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you might feel bad with, if I say it today. You don't even have to say it, Brennan. Why? Huh? Why? Because just by the way you're acting, I know what it is. What? I don't want to say it over the phone. About what all happened? Huh? About what all happened? What all happened? What are you talking about? About what... Me and Steven did that day. What about it? Well, Mike, or Mark and Matt came up here and they took another interview, interview with me and said that if I, because I was lying, but, so, they said if I didn't come home with it, that I would have to go to jail for 90 years. What? Yeah, but if I came home with it, I would probably get, I don't know, about like 20 or less. After the interview, they, they told me if I wanted to say something to their family, or her family, and said that I was sorry for what I did. So Stephen did do it? Yeah.
don't think so. No, I didn't. And they asked me if I smoked a cigarette, and I said I did once, but I didn't like it. And then you said that Travis said that that I was always talking about it over by him. Really? Yeah. Then someone came out with me trying to commit suicide. Why did you even go over there, Brendan? and Brian and 
and I was downstairs, and Stephen was touching her again. Really? Yeah. Oh, he makes me so sick. What did, what did they say to you? What do you mean? How many years are you going to get? I don't know. What did you just say to me? That, 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 uh, the Teresa family might ask the judge to be in Moonmint or whatever. <laughs> And they asked me if I wanted to be able to uh, have a family later on. I don't hate you, Brendan. I hate Stephen. All right? Yeah. I'm gonna wish you would have told me sooner. Okay? Yeah. How did you answer phone at 6 o'clock when Mike called then? They told me that they looked at the records that he didn't call. Huh? They said that they didn't have the records and... They well, what about when I got home at 5? You were here. Yeah. Yeah. When did you go over there? Well, I went over there earlier and then came home before you did. Why didn't you say something to me then? I don't know. I was too scared. You wouldn't have had to been scared because I would have called 911 and you wouldn't have been going back over there. They would have been here. Maybe she would have been alive yet. So in those statements, you did all that to her, too? Some of it. Did he make you do it? have one minute left. Blaine and Brad are coming up tomorrow, okay? Daddy? Huh? Is Dad? And he might be, yeah. Okay. I'll call him and ask Mom can't. Mom's got to take her truck in. So you're not coming up? Huh? You're not coming up? I can't, honey. i got to take my truck in tomorrow. For and what? that's going to take at least two, two and a half hours. And that's in the morning. Yeah. I'll be up Wednesday. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Just as 
remember I love you, okay? Yeah. And don't do nothing stupid. No. And see if you can talk to them. Yeah. Okay. See if they'll come up by you and see. Thank you for using Evercom. Love you, bye. bye.